guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do my pregnancy update for weeks 31 and 32. I'm a little late to this. I'm currently 32 weeks and four days, but I just didn't have time to film this, so here I am now. So I hope you guys all enjoy this update and let's get started. I will start with symptoms and then we'll talk about um, some baby stuff. I wanted to just take my camera with me and I'll just show you a few things. Like a lot of you guys were asking about our car seats, our stroller, uh, like big things like that. So I'll, t I'll just film those and show you. I don't have the stroller out of the box yet. I need to do that soon, but oh, they're moving. They always move when I talk, which is so cool. Uh, but I'll show you those big things at the end of the video. So as far as how I've been feeling, I have number one been super out of breath. So it's been really hard to film and I did a video with a voiceover the other day and it was so hard. So I'm just really out of breath. Um, I just, it's harder to breathe. Like even when I'm laying down, it's really hard to breathe. So sitting up is the best position for me laying down on my back just there's so much pressure that it's hard to do much and like wearing a bra I have a bra on right now which is rare usually I just wear like bralettes and that type of thing um by the way it's rainy it's been raining off and on so the sun the clouds keep going back and forth so it's gonna get like bright and dark bright and dark in this video but um what was I talking about oh Wait, no, what's it talking about? I literally have no idea. Um, pregnancy brain is a real thing. I have no idea what I was talking about. Breathing, laying on my back. I, oh, just a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure between the two babies. Currently, both babies, according to like all the measurements, oh my gosh, I'm moving a lot, are, um, they're both the exact same weight. They're both five pounds and four ounces. So I have over 10 pounds of baby in me right now, which is a lot. So that just gives me a lot more pressure no matter what position I'm laying in. And so as far as sleep goes, I mostly sleep on my left side, but sometimes it gets to the point where my neck gets really sore just from being in the same position for so long. So then I'll go to my left or my right side for a little bit, but I can't lay my right side too much because it puts pressure on your liver, which makes you a little bit nauseous. But what I've been doing is doing two pillows like this and then one pillow under my belly. So it kind of props it up a little bit so it's not super heavy. And that's been the best thing for me so far. I also have been really red around my nose and that is just hormonal redness. Um, typically you get red around your nose just from hormones. so. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I'm just really really red here and then by the end of the day like as my makeup wears off It gets red. I just wear extra concealer on my nose. My feet have been swelling on and off They're not always swollen, but sometimes they are my toes are just a little puffy and sometimes um, My ankles will start swelling up a bit. So my shoes are definitely a little bit tighter now and um, I just tried to you know like rub on some foot lotion and I don't know I don't really like elevate my feet because when I elevate my feet then you have to lean back and I don't like leaning back the most comfortable position is sleeping on the edge and not sleeping sitting on the edge of the couch like straight up right I've also been really tired lately mostly probably because I don't get much sleep but I think it's just this time time in your pregnancy you're just really tired so I mean, around like two, three o'clock, I just want to take a nap. So I try to take an hour nap every day if I can. But yeah, I get really tired and I'll just fall asleep on the couch. Super easy. Unfortunately, I've been craving a lot of sweets lately. This whole pregnancy, I really haven't had any cravings other than lemonade in my first trimester. But now I get really bad heartburn and my heartburn's been pretty bad lately. So I definitely try to avoid anything acidic and salsa is really bad for it and I eat salsa on everything I always forget but yeah I get pretty bad heartburn so I take Tums throughout the day and Zantac I've been craving ice cream like no other like <laughs> the other day I went to Walmart and I got three pints of ice cream it was bad and I would never ever do that but I couldn't decide what flavor I wanted and I wanted options and we had some people over this weekend and we had so many sweets left over and it was bad so Today I ended up dumping the rest because I just, 
if it's near me, I will eat it. I met up with the doctor who's delivering me. It's been confusing because I see my specialist every two weeks, so he feels like my actual doctor, but he's not the one delivering me. The one delivering me, I only see, I've only been seen once a month, but now I'm going to start seeing him more often, and I'm also going to start my non-stress test tomorrow, twice a week, which is so intense. I feel like I just live at the doctor, so they, strap two little things on each baby and they measure or they just watch the heartbeats they see if you're having any contractions and just kind of monitor them so we'll see how that goes tomorrow but as far as meeting up with my doctor he was saying that oh both babies are head down which is so great so uh he just really wanted the lower one to be head down to attempt a vaginal birth but it's just even better that they're both head down now. One was transverse, so one was kind of like sideways, and then she moved, she flipped like this week. So we were talking about timing wise, so I'm like 32 weeks, and he was saying, you know, he would like me to go into labor naturally, um, and then he, he said 38 weeks is when, if I haven't, then he will induce me, but my, Specialist today, the perinatal doctor, was saying that he would recommend 37 weeks because at that point that's when your placenta starts breaking down since they're sharing the placenta and he thinks they're, they'd be safer out of the womb at that point. So he said he'd call my doctor and recommend that. So I'm really going to stress that he calls him because I do not want to go to 38 weeks. That's like, no, 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 no. I'm so done i'm hoping they come around 35 or 36 weeks on their own that would be awesome but it's kind of like you know they'll tell me when they're ready to come and i feel like my body will just know but everything has just been going so well with them that i don't see them coming in super early the only thing is they're pretty big so i mean maybe i don't know i really don't know he was just kind of like don't stress about it, don't worry about it, because I'm like the type of person who wants to know like the exact day that I'm going to be there. Um, he's just like, take it day by day, and when you start getting your contractions, you'll, you'll know. So I have my hospital bag pretty much packed. We need to get our car seats installed in our car. But everything else is pretty much set, I think. I don't know, I feel like you can't fully be prepared, but it's weird to think that. I mean, truly they could come anytime. They they could be born now and be fine, but they would be in the NICU for a couple weeks. So I am hoping they wait a little bit longer, but once 34 weeks hits, I'm going to be walking a lot because I really don't want them to be born like the week of Christmas. That's just like so intense to me, oh my gosh. Nothing has really changed other than me just really being ready for them to come out. I feel them moving still a lot and yeah when I had my friends over this weekend it was so funny like I would have them feel like I would grab their hand and when they would move and everybody was just like oh my god like what the heck that's the weirdest feeling ever. It was so funny so and especially with two in there like you have a pretty good chance of feeling one of them move so yeah, I think, I mean, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. So I'm going to, I'll show you my belly really quick. It's really big. It's really big. And then I will just kind of show you around and um, show you some of the things. Okay, so here is the stomach, my sweater on, with my shirt on. And I did just buy another pair of maternity pants because all my maternity pants are really small already. Uh, my belly button is totally sticking out, but yeah, it's pretty large, and it's definitely dropped a little bit, so now my pants are a lot tighter down here, so nothing's really comfortable to wear, but I don't have any stretch marks yet, so we'll see, but yeah, so one baby's right here, her head's like right there. And then the other one is a little bit lower now. They, this one's low. This one used to be the higher one, but now she's she's now baby A. So they're like right there. Then everybody always asks. So this little mark is from where I had my belly button pierced. So it's like red. Big hard. <laughs> it's really hard. 
<laughs> Big hard belly. So here are the car seats we have. They are the maxi cozy ones and they're the, uh, what are they called? Micro Max 30 and they're for the newborn side. They're the newborn ones. So this is like the base that goes in the car and then you just kind of click the car seat in there. And I believe they're just, I don't know what the actual color is, but they're just the black ones. And then that goes back. So there's those. The other thing we just got is this Nuna play yard. So you have the bassinet there that you can hook up or you can take that out and just have it as like a play pen. So I think I'm going to save this for when they're a little bit bigger because, and I also got uh, some sheets for it and like, like a fitted sheet and then a waterproof mattress that goes on top of that. But we have this, which is the Pottery Barn bassinet. So I think I'm gonna use this while they're really little. And then as they get bigger, I will use the Nuna one. And then our garage is a disaster right now because I took out all our Christmas stuff. But this is the stroller we have. It's the Baby Jogger City Select. And it's a silver frame and it's black. And then we got the attachment for it. So, um, what is it, is it just called? Yeah, it's just called the City Select. So we have the attachment for it that makes it a double stroller. Um, and then we have the other attachments that fit our car seat on top of that. And then here's a couple other things I thought I would show you. So I got some of these nursing pads off of Amazon. I will try to find links to all of these things and put them in the info section. So I got these, these are just the disposable ones. And then I also got these ones, which are cloth ones, so you can wash them. They're made from organic bamboo, and you get 10 of them in here. So I got those. And then here is the pack and play um, crib protector that I got. So you put this on top of the mattress, and it's hypoallergenic, it's waterproof, and you can wash that. So that is that thing. And then here is the sheet that I got. These are both from Amazon, the Play Yard sheet. So it's um, organic cotton, super soft, so I need to wash those too. Here are some products from Baby Gannix. This I've actually used myself. It's a cold relief chest rub thing. And then got some lotion, some hand sanitizer, some bubble bath. This is a uh, sponge for them, for their baths. This is, I don't know exactly what this is. The um, baby bath tea, I think you just throw that in the bath some bath wash, some little toys, and then this is for the um, faucet for the bath. We are currently remodeling our bathroom and it's a disaster, our guest bath, which is going to be their bathroom. So hopefully it'll be done by the time they get here, we will see. But yeah, I, I'm super excited to show you guys when it's finally done. So that's it for today's update. I hope you guys all enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Next up, I have the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. This one just expired and I think it just went bad, but I do have a full size of this right now that I'm using and I do really enjoy it. This is the Shakai Color Reflect Shampoo in Platinum. This is supposed to be good.